got it. Okay, now. Hold it. My hands is too difficult. It works. Okay, let's estimate. Let's say fifty cars a minute. Fifty times sixty, three thousand five hundred per hour. Tesla. Oh boy, my hands are starting to freeze. It looks like a snowstorm. I don't know how long I can keep this 
stop. Oh, the wind is very strong. No, I just discovered that I can do this over here. They carry. I never thought of coming here before. But I read the injunction, which isn't against me, but they wanted to keep people out of the whole area on the other side of Dikari. Then I thought, Dikari is right there. Oh, then I thought I could go to Dikari and do this. So I stayed there as my three hours. And then I thought, why not come here? Try this because everybody's in the rush hour going home. How do you feel? Because you're Jewish and you're being ostracized by your own people. Oh, but a lot of support too. I got a lot of support. They see you as a traitor. Some do, yeah, but you know, it's about 50 50. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm opposed to this targeting of civilians, of course, but uh, there was more Israelis killed by Israel than Hamas on October the 7th. Well, of course, but did Hamas make a raid on October the 7th? Yes or no? Yeah. Did they attack civilians? No. Well, what did they attack them? The military. They, they did away with the whole uh, the Gaza Brigade there, 325. Well, then how can you get children as yeah, they took hostages, but they, they didn't kill civilians, you know, uh, as a target. Well, some civilians are reserve officers that have uh, guns with them, you know. What about children and babies that were decapitated? No, they weren't. Even Israel, even Israel has retracted that accusation. But, but then again, you have to understand when the Nazis invaded Poland, the Nazi Germany claimed they were attacked and this was a setup. We also know for a fact that when you had Pearl Harbor that the Americans knew that there was a raid and deliberately let the, uh, the Japanese know that it was justifiable to go into the war. And that's all being declassified because it's declassified after 56 years. So I don't know the truth, to be quite honest. But it would appear to me that there were hostages taken, there were hostages, <coughs> and no military takes hostages. That's a mark of a terrorist organization. Because I don't Perhaps. But nonetheless, they didn't kill them. And then the question is why... But 31 were killed by Israel's bombardments. Of course, I'm not saying that there are people died in there. There are a lot of people. Uh, I mean, I know there's an Egyptian um, comedian who makes black comedy. And it always points out, you know, every time there's an Israeli who's killed, there's, uh, there's like a thousand Palestinians who are killed. And he said, you know, so maybe uh, the, uh, BB is a, a bit upset. He doesn't like the ratio. Maybe it's now a one... One is really for 20,000. So we're going to have to wait until they bombard and kill, uh, let's say, 250,000 women and children, or um, a million women and children, to make up for the 1,200 Israelis that got killed. Uh, uh, General Sharon had a ratio.